in Columbus, Ohio. And this is our monthly class that we are talking about gut health. This is a topic that is, I was just mentioning as people were jumping here live on Facebook and on the Zoom chat link with us, that I really wanna hear from those of you out there that um, what, is, what it is that you're hoping to learn, why it is that you are tuning in to this gut health. Love your guts. Um, I, this is a topic that I, I really didn't research and know much about years ago, but in my journey over the course of the last, I would say, 14 years, I've really come to um, realize what a big part our guts play in terms of the role of our whole body and therefore our whole life. And several of you I see chiming in that you're wanting to learn more about cleansing and restoring your system. Awesome. Okay. We're definitely going to talk about some of that. And um, if, like I said, if you're, if you're on Facebook commenting, um, you can help answer each other's questions because I have trouble seeing both views at the same time. But we, um, I actually was diagnosed with acid reflux. Oh gosh, how long ago was that now? It was probably about 22 years ago. I was having a lot of um, issues with different kinds of food and um, indigestion and just pain and different things. And I went and I actually had a scope and I had to have surgery on my vocal cords, actually, because they were so damaged from acid. Um, and that was the first time I ever could believe that uh, there was something going on in my GI tract that was affecting even my voice. And the doctors wanted to put me on some really um, kind of long-term acid reducer, acid blocker medications. And this is when I was about 20, just like I said, I, I was, was in my early 20s. And um, I did a lot of research on the side effects of those. And I politely declined. I think I tried some, one of them. Um, they gave me a sample and I tried that until it was gone. And I just decided, you know, I'd rather figure out what it is are the triggers for me and see if I can, in my own healthy way, improve and improve my quality of life and decrease that pain. I, and um, so I've, I've been on my own kind of gut health journey ever since then. And then it was very interesting. I had, uh, I have three kids. They're now um, 12, 10, and seven. And Connor, our, our 10 year old, he was born with a lot of the similar uh, digestive issues that I had. And it was my special gift as a mom to my child when he was born, part of that passage into life that he took on a lot of the, um, you know, the bacteria, those, those bacteria, we give our kids the good and the bad, right? And that's actually how I came to find the oils because of wanting something natural to use for him. I, I thought if I'm not using those medications, the last thing I want to do is give them to my baby. And thank God for the miracle of oils like digest, I digest then and some of these that were such a powerful immediate help for Connor just rubbing it on his tummy and for him as a baby he didn't have much toxicity because he was so little and he was breastfed primarily at that point and his body wasn't very toxic so it was very easy for the oils to be effective and have long-lasting impact for him for me because I was I had been dealing with some of this stuff for for many many years I still have some of this stuff that will creep up but Praise God, the oils and supplements and some of the other things that we're going to talk about tonight have been really life-changing for me. And so many of those issues that I dealt with for years that I thought was kind of just my lot in life, that's just the way I was going to go through life with bloating and discomfort and burping and pain and um, problems with my vocal cords, you know. I've, I've had so much healing and I've had so, I feel so empowered to know that we have the tools to kind of grab the bull by the horns and say, no, this does not have to be our sentence. And we're going to change at our bodies at a cellular level and really focus on what's going on in our gut. So that is the topic tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can figure out how to screen share. So bear with me for a second. Um, <laughs> it always takes a second for me to figure out how to do some of this stuff. Okay. Share screen. Let me go to desktop. 
and pull up the presentation. Here it is. Okay. Hopefully, can you all see this? All right. Love your guts. And I do. I love all your guts. And I'm so glad that you decided to join us for this special class. So let's talk about, uh, look at this amazing quote by Hippocrates. <laughs> this says, all disease begins in the gut. I mean, this was a quote from a long, long time ago, and he was on to something, wasn't he? This other image here, some of you might want to screenshot this, or you can find it on your own if you do a search. Dr. Axe shared this, just a lot of cool um, statistics about gut health. 40 diseases have been linked to bacterial imbalance, including depression, arthritis, IBS, and cancer. Um, 70 million Americans are suffering from digestive diseases. Uh, when I started researching for my own health, I started uncovering that there's so many people that are walking around every single day in discomfort or pain or with autoimmune diseases that feel like a sentence that they're stuck with. Um, I, I, I think it's, it's, uh, it's interesting to now know, like here I am all these years later, and that gut, gut health is really a popular topic, and I'm so glad about that. And I think it's our responsibility to even bring this more into the forefront and talk about how, um, how we can, I think so many of us have maybe dealt with different years of our life where we weren't operating in our full, um, in, our, in all of the things that our body had to offer in, in its full health. We just thought, oh, this is the way you feel after you eat. You feel kind of crappy, you know? Um, or you, you only go to the bathroom once or twice a week, you know, and it, that's normal, right? You know, I feel like there's so many people that just live with thinking this is normal or this is, this is their normal and they're stuck with it. And I, I feel so excited to share with people that we have power to change things because our bodies can change, right? So look at this. Our bodies are more bacteria than human. Can you believe that? I have, I, that statistic on there, I think is very cool. And look at this, a um, hundred trillion microorganisms live in our intestines alone. Our intestines, they say are about the same if you were to lay it out, it, it would be the size of a tennis court. And that if you look at the surface of that, that it's millions and trillions of microorganisms. And that these organisms communicate with our brain and um, we need to have healthy guts so that the bad bacteria will struggle to flourish. I really love how this image kind of simply stated that. Um, and how the, how the gut affects the overall body. And I hope as we go through this, some of you all are taking notes and thinking of, how does this impact me? How does this affect me? What are some things that I'm kind of living with that just feel like, oh, this is normal for me, but maybe there's some things that could be adjusted and cleaned and tweaked so that you don't have to deal with that pain or that issue or that discomfort. Um, so think about brain health, um, emotions, and how tight it is to your gut health, thyroid, your mouth, um, oral health, okay? Our immune system is totally linked to our gut health. And then of course, your digestive system, um, pain, inflammation, skin, people that deal with chronic skin issues, I now have learned over the course of years to tell them, look at your gut health. I actually dealt with, um, I dealt with eczema years ago too. This is before I had kids. I started getting this breakout on my shins and around my waist and uh, so itchy and dry and really uh, kept me up at night. And once I got diagnosed, I went to a dermatologist and I realized like I'm using non-toxic laundry detergent. I'm using all these green things. And the more I researched, I thought, I, I found that it has to do with your gut. And we're gonna talk about that, okay? So the reason I'm showing this image is that in our class last month, we went over this whole entire lifestyle, this wellness lifestyle, and said that this whole year, we're gonna actually be working through this and talking about some of the different topics. And I promised you all that this month we were gonna talk specifically a deeper dive into gut health. And so with where, where we come in on this wellness 
kind of wellness lifestyle is talking about eating right. That's the foundation. So we're going to talk about that in this class. And then also reducing toxic load. And that's one of the first things that I thought we would jump into. Look at those fancy little arrows for us. And as we talk about detoxing the body, I want you to think about too, these are some cool little um, things, 12 benefits of helping to, to detox our body. It's going to give you a boost in energy, improve our digestion, helping with weight loss. There are some people out there really struggling to get to that weight and you feel like you're doing all the things, you know, you're trying to eat right and exercising and, um, this is something that when your gut balance is off, it's gonna sometimes hold on to weight. It's gonna, uh, detoxing can help strengthen our immune system, improve our skin, give us better breath, promoting, you can't even see that because it's behind me, <laughs> um, clear thinking, healthier hair, feeling lighter. Isn't that a cool way to say it? Lighter feeling, not so bloated and heavy anti-aging benefits, and an improved sense of well-being. Who says amen to, give me, give me some of these things on this list. So the first thing though, really when you're talking about gut health, we have to talk about reducing our toxic load because so much of us, um, so much of us are struggling with different kinds of toxicity. And if we really don't address toxicity, then our bodies are going to stay in this constant state of um, kind of fighting, fighting off those toxins. And so how is it that we get toxins? A lot of it comes from things that are in our environment and some of it go, comes to things that we're putting in our body, okay? So I want everybody to just take a second. I do an entire class on this topic so we don't have time to really do a super deep dive, but I just want you to get really honest and maybe take inventory and think about the stuff that you're putting in your body on your body, um, what you're, what you're um, cleaning your house with, what's under your, your ca cabinets, what's inside your medicine cabinets, what are you um, brushing your teeth with. There's so many different categories and I really want you to think of how well are you doing in terms of reducing toxins. How do toxins get in our bodies? Well, we talk about this in a lot of our different classes. There's so, there's it's not just from eating it, but breathing it in. Do you know that breathing things in is the fastest way to get things into your bloodstream? So if you're cleaning, we just had a guy that was here, he's working on our, um, we're finishing our basement and he was a college kid and he was talking about cleaning his shower with bleach. We're working on the shower downstairs. And I said, oh, there's so many better options than bleach. Please don't use bleach. Just use white vinegar and water if nothing else and maybe add some essential oils, I can give you some. But I said, when, you know, all that stuff that you're spraying to clean and you're doing it with the best of intentions, but it's coming, it's breathing it into your lungs. And that's a really, um, that's a really big way that a lot of people get toxic exposure. Also the things that we're eating and putting in our body that way, and then through our skin. So things that you might be rubbing on, maybe you have a lotion that you love the smell of, but it has some toxic uh, ingredients and, and fragrances and artificial ingredients that are toxins that you don't want. So we, we need to start trying to best as we can avoid toxic exposure. So how can we help in this area? One easy way is just adding citrus oils to your water every single day. Do you know that citrus oils, when you drink them in your water, they help to flush toxins out. So for example, all those years that we were microwaving in plastic containers and we didn't know that that was a no-no, we got us all these plastic particles <laughs> broken down and stored in our body. Well, guess what? Citrus oils can help flush those out. And they've done urine samples on people after um, having citrus oils in their water and found so many toxins like those plastic particles, for instance, that have been flushed out, which is great, which is why I always tell people when you're drinking citrus oils, use a glass or stainless steel so that it's not breaking down more plastic that you're ingesting in your body, right? Good tip. Also, you wanna clear the air. One of the greatest ways that you can clear the air is have your diffuser running. I'm trying to see if you guys can actually see my diffuser that's running over here, okay? So that is one of the best ways, and these are three great oils. Lemon, On Guard, Breathe, something that's actually oxygenating the air in your environment, okay? 
And then use clean products. If you have not yet worked on really trying to make over your um, skincare routine and your oral health care and your um, hair care, some of these different things, guess what? doTERRA has all of these different products that you can have an awesome deodorant and mouthwash and toothpaste and hair serum and um, skin serum. I mean, amazing product lines. And if you've never tapped into trying these, I really encourage you to, to ask the person that invited you to watch this and say, you know, ask them their opinion of where you should get started. Okay. So we're moving on now to, from reducing toxic load. Now, I'm sorry, in avoiding toxic exposure. Now, other ways that we can reduce our toxic load is to support our body's defensive functions, right? So how can we do that? Now, this is a really cool, I just wanted to give you this analogy. When I was doing research to prepare for this class, actually, one of the podcasts I was listening to of an expert on gut health shared that he likes to describe our GI tract and our gut um, similar to a rainforest, that there's so much diversity of microbacteria. Do you remember that it said in that other slide, a hundred trillion microorganisms? And these are, we need these good, healthy, diverse microorganisms for our bodies to thrive. And so when you think about that, like think about this, like as a, as a beautiful rainforest and that we need to nurture it. It needs all of the right things so that it doesn't dry up and get scorched, burnt, dead, weak, moldy, nasty, you know. Like for a rainforest to thrive, it has to have kind of just the right ingredients to thrive, okay? Um, so one of the ways, what's one of the best ways we can give our gut the right ingredients to thrive is the food we're eating. This is the number one most important topic of the entire uh, webinar tonight is, is just eating, eating a nutritious diet. And that is actually a really complicated topic and again, that could be a whole class in and of itself. But one of the things that this expert shared that I really liked is it just to kind of keep it simple. He said, so what should you eat? He said, we really should eat a diversity of food. He said, think of all of the diversity of the microflora in our gut. This is healthy microflora and we need to be feeding it a diverse food because right, sloths eat something different than cuckoo birds and something different than, um, you know, all the other different kinds of things that go, I'm thinking of lemurs and fusas and crazy chameleons. I'm thinking of um, <laughs> the rainforest in Madagascar where we, where we went with our family and I'm thinking of the rainforest in Costa Rica where I've been. But you've got to, for those different species to flourish, you've got to, you've got to provide a diversity of food. So there was a gentleman that was being interviewed and he said, it was interesting. He's like, because I've been packing this same meal for my lunch every single day. And it's actually a really healthy meal, low in fat, like high in protein, or I'm sorry, low carbs, high protein, um, you know, all these different things. He said, but the fact that it was the same meal every day, he said, my gut health was really poor when on the test that he took. And he said, I should have been mixing it up different kinds of fruits, different kinds of vegetables. And, and on that point, this, uh, the expert said we should eat way more, even way more plants than we think we are. He said even up to 30 or 40 different types of plants a week. And so that's fruits and vegetables. And he said, especially think about different colors and the polyphenols, the antioxidants that we're getting because of all the different colors of the food. And I love the I love the idea of eating the rainbow, like when I'm making a meal and plating the food for my kids and I, thinking about the colors on there and making sure most of the colors of the rainbow are represented, okay? So he said, and again, when he says 30 to 40 different types, he said, don't get hung up on being overwhelmed. He said, I'm just telling you, like, if you eat apples all the time, great, you can still eat apples, but switch up the type. Don't just have a gala apple or a golden delicious every single day because every single different type of apple has different types of fibers and different kinds of things that are feeding the good healthy bacteria in our bodies and even lettuces like 
if you eat a spinach salad every day, he said, mix it up. Don't only have spinach every day. Have kale and have Swiss chard and have arugula and romaine and iceberg and, and rotate through these different things so our bodies are getting a really good variety. And also I have on here a note about alkaline foods. And if you don't know much about that, that's something that I would say do a homework assignment on your own and just research acidic versus alkaline foods. And we want the things in our body, um, we want to keep our body at a more alkaline state. And actually by, by just having lemon oil, can you see that? It's probably backwards. I don't know. But um, lemon oil actually helps to get your body and the other citrus oils more alkaline instead of acidic. And diseases really can't thrive in a body that's alkaline. So we want to do all the things possible to, to keep our body in that state. Okay, so what's another way that we can nourish and fortify our bodies? Because guess what? Even with all of our best efforts and some of this, these things that we're talking about, we're busy people and I'm just being real and preaching to myself here. I know a lot of times we're we're running out the door and grabbing a, a power bar and a banana and, and not, you know, I'm like, I don't have time to eat my green leafy salad on the go. And um, I, I do try to do fresh pressed juice and we have a juice company in town that we love supporting. So those kind of things have helped us stay more accountable and um, easier. Sometimes I, you know, if you're not using your own juicer at home, find a place that you can get and order some of that stuff. So you're you're getting your vegetables and nourishment. Smoothies are a great way. Um, doTERRA's Terra Greens. I don't have a picture of that, but that's an awesome product that you can get that has so much of your greens and wheatgrass and a lot of different kinds of greens that you wouldn't typically stock in your house, okay? So that, in terms of variety, that's a really great thing to just put a scoop of that in water with, a, with some ice in a blender bottle and shake it up and, and drink some of that every day. But we also, this is one of the reasons we love the doTERRA uh, Lifelong Vitality Pack. It's this pack of three sub, these three supplements. Um, these give our bodies, they, I feel like it helps to fill in the gaps and give our bodies so many of that well-rounded spectrum of nourishment that we need for our gut health and our overall health every single day, okay? And I've done whole entire classes on the Lifelong Vitality Pack. If you want to do a deeper dive into that, then check out our YouTube channel because it's, it's on there. Um, and then we also, to reduce toxic load, we need to support our elimination functions, right? So which, which are the ways that our bodies eliminate toxins, okay? So this is showing, this illustration is showing that the toxin gets entered into the body. It actually gets processed through the liver. And then the liver sends it on its way and it gets eliminated either through our kidneys and urine, right? Or through the colon and our poo, right? Okay, so that's how the toxins, the things that we don't need, get flushed out. Now, if our primary pathways are any way compromised, then guess what? our body starts to really rely on these secondary pathways, which is our lungs and our skin. And so that's why so much of the research shows that if you're having constant skin eruptions, yeah, maybe I could have put a lotion or an oil or something that stopped the flare up on the surface, but it, if it kept coming back, that's an indication, that's a sign. Your body's trying to tell you something's going on on the inside and it's trying to flush these toxins out. And if it's not coming out the way it should, through the kidneys or through the colon, it's used in some other way. And that's also for, for kids and adults that deal with asthma and any kind of respiratory function issue, sinusitis, some of those different things. Um, that's usually an indication that there's something going on with the gut that really needs to be addressed, okay? So we need to make sure we are supporting optimal elimination. And one of the ways that this has been described that I really like is the idea of a, of a chimney sweep. Do you see that guy over there in the picture, the chimney sweep? And one of my friends, Laura Jacobs, has used this uh, illustration for us. And she said, we need to make sure our primary pathways are functioning well to prevent overuse of the secondary pathways. In other words, the chimneys, think of our elimination pathways as like, a smokestack or chimneys that we want the toxins to be able to come out freely. And those big, big chimneys are the, the kidneys and the colon. 
which the liver filters that through, we really want those primary ones to be working healthy and well. Otherwise, the other secondary ones are gonna get um, clogged up and we're gonna have unnecessary things going on in our body. Okay, so what are some signs that you may be suffering from a buildup of toxicity? I thought this was a helpful list and we don't have time to go through every single one of these bullet points. So if you want, you can screenshot this, but just some of the, the highlights I wanna underline. If you're dealing with sugar cravings or even salty cravings, that could be um, that can be a sign if you feel like you're you're having massive mood swings, um, irritability, anxiety, brain fog, uh, having digestive complaints. I mean, is one of the most obvious. If you just feel like you're uncomfortable, if you're bloating, if you're have if you're burping a lot, if you're having discomfort. I mean, that's one of one of the best ones. But if you're also feeling fatigue, um, if you just feel like you can't, you're sluggish and you're kind of fatigued, that's that's a good indication that you might need to get some some better gut health and, and some spring cleaning, okay? Um, and I like, I'm going to uh, read this. It said, it's not enough just to remove the man-made toxins from your food. You need to remove what's already going on in your body. So this other list that's on the far right, it says factors that you would need to reduce. Uh, just to take, again, this is about just accountability to yourself and take an inventory. If you are exposed to a lot of toxins because of drinking, smoking, diets and high, high and saturated fats or high carbs, um, if you've had to take a lot of of over-the-counter medication, if you've had um, to take antibiotics, if you've had exposures to different chemicals, those are all things that you can take inventory of and say, yeah, certainly that's me and I'm sure I need to, to, get, to, to get some of this flushed out of my system, okay? So all that to say, let's clean house. Let's clean house. I'm checking on, on how we're doing on time here. So what we're going to do now is shift gears and kind of talk about if you feel like, you know what, I, I think that I definitely have some of the stuff in these different categories, or I know of somebody that I love that does, and I would love to learn more of, now what? If you're kind of like, yep, you just described some of the things I'm dealing with, and I'm sure I'm in that category of having some toxins, now what? So the rest of this class, we're going to talk about how to clean. And, um, and so these are the different topics here that we're gonna go through, how to activate your body, reset and renew. So open up the windows, clean out the clutter and organize what's left. Or if you use the chimney analogy, basically we're gonna show you how to like, open up those chimneys, get the chimney sweep, clean it out and make sure everything feels like it's back in order, okay? So the two, two products, this is actually what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna share with you can be used as a 30 day cleanse. Okay, that's actually how this is set up here to explain it to you, but not all of you wanna do a 30 day cleanse. Some of you might just like the idea, maybe you're already using some of these different products and you might want to know better about how these work and how to incorporate them into your day to day. Some of you might be totally new to this and not using any of these products and you're just kind of wanting this to wash over you and see really where, it feel, where you land. And so that's, as we go through this, feel free. Like this is not, um, you don't need to do a 30 day cleanse necessarily, but if you've never tried that, this is actually a really great, gentle, healthy, natural, not scary, not one of those cleanses that you're gonna be um, running to the bathroom all day long, okay? You're not gonna be starving yourself. It's not one of those kind of cleanses, okay? This is really gentle, natural, safe, and it's just incorporating some all natural different products to help support your body through the process, okay? So for prop to activate proper elimination, one of those things in terms of cleaning, making sure, sure those primary chimneys, those primary um, things are working and cleared out, digestive enzymes, that's what Terrazyme is, and then Zendocrine, which is a, it's a multi, it's a detoxification complex is what they call it. And it's not, neither of these have any essential oils in there. It's all natural herbal supplements to, that help 
to break down the food, the terazyme, digestive enzymes, if you don't know much about that. Um, that is to help support high, healthy digestion and your metabolic processes. It's when, if we're not eating a diet that is 60 to 70, for some you even say 80% raw food, like raw plant-based, then we're not getting the enzymes, all the enzymes our bodies need to break down our food and digest it and actually absorb the nutrients from our food. You might be eating broccoli that you got from the farmer's market and you steamed it and it's organic, fresh, local broccoli. But if you steamed it for five minutes, guess what? All those enzymes got cooked out. So don't worry, it's still healthy food, but you don't have now those enzymes in the broccoli that help it to be naturally absorbed into your body. And as we age, the, the enzymes that our body produces on its own really reduces. So that's why taking a, a digestive enzyme supplement is a great idea. And this is really encouraged to take in the morning on an empty stomach and in the evening before bed on an empty stomach and then during the day before meals. And this really helps. There, again, we could do a whole class just on this topic. I've actually sat through an hour and a half lecture on Terrazyme and it just blew my mind. That was with a friend of mine named Boyd Truman. And some of you, if, if you are um, able to comment, I would really invite you to share some of the things that you've learned or you've appreciated about uh, Terrazyme and how it's helped you or some of the thing, some of the reasons why you use it, okay? But so I'd say just in simplistic way, that it helps you absorb the nutrients from your body. And for a lot of us, we're eating maybe good healthy food and we're, we're still feeling like lack of energy. And a lot of it is our body's having trouble absorbing the nutrition from the food that we're giving it. And it's having to work too hard. So we need to get those, those enzymes. And it also helps to reduce um, gas and bloating and it just makes the whole digestion process a lot gentler, okay? How many of you out there love terrorism? We, we take that in our family. I take between four to six a day and our kids take two to four a day, okay? Um, Zendocrine is the other one that was mentioned and there's actually the herbal detoxification complex and then there's the soft gel, which is all oils, okay? So these are not the same. They have the same name, but they're not the same product, okay? Um, they really go well together. And one of the primary things I would say about these is it really does an awesome job helping to support your liver. And if you remember that toxins, when they're introduced to our body, it goes first to our liver and then the liver has to kind of process it and then try and, and get rid of it or send it on its pathway, right? And so our liver takes a beating. Our livers, a lot of us are walking around with livers that are tired and sluggish and unhealthy and need a boost. So this Zendocrine helps our liver, support our liver, our colon, our kidneys, skin, and lungs. And then this detoxification soft gel with the oils is really, really focused primarily on coming alongside and supporting the liver as well with those awesome essential oils that are in there, okay? So, oh, look, I have a whole slide on that and I actually have it memorized because <laughs> I, I'm really passionate about these products. And through doTERRA right now, Zendocrine, the only way to get this is actually through, there's a kit called the Cleanse and Restore Kit that I'll show you at the end. They are working on um, getting the next batch in soon, hopefully in the next couple of months. Um, so if you don't have that, you can order the Cleanse and Restore Kit, which is something that I order regularly because it's kind of a discount to get all of the products that we're talking about anyhow. Or you can just wait for it to come in. And meanwhile, you can get the soft gels. And this has five different essential oils. These are the ones in there. It has tangerine, juniper berry, cilantro, geranium, and rosemary. And these are all, like I said, oils that help support the liver. And also really awesome for your adrenal function. One of the ways that I use this, I showed you, there's the soft gel. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. That's in a capsule where you can take it internally. But if you like the idea of using it topically, which I, use, I do it both ways. I like putting this on my hand and then I rub it directly over my liver. And then I rub my hands over my adrenal glands, which sit right on top of where your kidneys are. And so I try to make a habit of that one time a day to rub it on topically. And um, 
it makes me feel good. I feel like I'm doing something good at least, okay? Um, and then let's talk really quickly before we shift gears about hydration tips because one of the things I cannot emphasize enough is that if you are working on flushing toxins out of your body, you need to be hydrating because otherwise, if you're doing a good job of using oils and all these different methods to get to, for your fat cells to release the toxins and you don't have water to flush it out, guess what happens? All those toxins are just going to find a way to get reabsorbed. So drink so much water. I always carry water around with me everywhere I go. Um, the, a good rule of thumb is at least half of your body weight in ounces. So if you're 150 pounds, you're going to want to be drinking 75 ounces of water at least every day and add oils to that. Add some kind of citrus oil. And if you really would like to support weight loss during this process, this is totally optional, but why not use Slim and Sassy? That's one of my favorite oils to add to my water. And this is kind of a funky label, <laughs> but um, this has so many great oils, including lemon and grapefruit. So two of the citrus oils are in here and then also has um, cinnamon, which is great for regulating your blood sugar levels and ginger and peppermint, which are great for digestive health as well. Okay, so we just covered phase one, which is activate. And what this is encouraging, if you were to do this over 30 day cleanse, that you would do all of these things in those first 10 days, okay? And this is on this little chart, if you wanna screenshot this, it's telling you Terrazyme, for example, that you could take five of those a day. The Zendercon Complex, two a day. So morning and evening. Um, the lemon oil, it's suggesting 10 drops of oil every day. And then the Zendercon blend, either you use the oil or the soft gel to take those two times a day. And see the little arrow at the end of those Terrazyme Zendercon lemon? It means that you're gonna continue that. You're gonna continue those things after the 10 days. And then this Zendercon oil blend, it's saying just do those for the first 10 days and then stop that, okay? Phase two is resetting and detoxing. And this is where I call it pulling out the big guns. The GX Assist is something that I don't take every day. And I usually only use probably a couple of times a year when I'm really doing a cleanse and trying to like get my GI system, get it a reset like it talks about. This is a really awesome um, formula. It's a, it's caprylic acid, uh, enterically coated. I'm sorry, it's an enterically coated capsule, which means it can, it's strong enough to get through the stomach acid that we have and actually get all the way to our gut. So to get to our small intestine and open up there and deliver those awesome oils where you really need it there in the gut. Okay. And this is saying to yank out the weeds. So remember we have a beautiful rainforest of gut. That's what we're supposed to have with all these beautiful microorganisms that are healthy microorganisms that we need. But what has happened for so many of us is that we have bad microorganisms that are starting to grow there too. So we have friendly bacteria that help with our digestion and it helps to prevent the growth of harmful pathogens, okay? But so many of us, because of our diets and toxin exposure and all those things that we talked about in the beginning, we have an imbalance and we have unhealthy bacteria starting to grow and take over. For some people, that unhealthy bacteria is getting so prolific, it's taking over the good bacteria. And a lot of that is in the form of candida albicans. And if you haven't ever heard of this before, there's a lot of research, there's websites devoted all to this, this topic. But it starts as a benign, a benign thing that it feeds though on sugar and carbs and grains and different things like that. And if you and if it grows too much, it ends up sprouting a tail and burrowing its way out of our gut and creating leaky something called leaky gut. Um, there's so many different strains of candida and they can cause disease. Okay, so what causes to candida growth? Basically, um, you know, this is, like I said, this is the quick, simple version of this. It's if you're eating too many refined carbohydrates and dairy and sugar, that's what the candida feed on. So if you're feeding your body, if you ask yourself right now, does my diet consist of a lot of refined carbs, sugar, 
and dairy. Because guess what? I love all that stuff. Anybody else out there agree? I mean, I have a lot of friends that are gluten-free and I'm like, pass me the gluten over here. I'll take that gluten bread, please. <laughs> okay. So, and I love a good dessert and I love, I'm, you know, I'm pescatarian, so I don't eat any kind of meat except for fish, but I love cheese. I love, that's how I'm getting some of my protein. And so this is one of the things for me that when I did the research, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, guess what? My, my eczema and some of those outbreaks that I was having was always happening around the holidays where I was really increasing my sugar intake and carbs and just those kind of things were going way out of balance. I was eating more of that than I was 30 to 40 different kinds of plants in a week by all means, okay? So it started to make sense. I was like, okay, I really need to cut back on the sugars and carbs just turn into sugars in your body. And I needed to basically try to starve this candida. And what's awesome is that this, um, this GX assist helps to helps your body to come alongside if, and, and fight off and kill with the oils, some of this um, unhealthy microbes that are in our gut, okay? So what are some signs that you might have, signs and symptoms of having candida? You can take a screenshot of this as well. Uh, I'm not gonna go through this, but you might have some, if you have some things on here that you're like, oh yeah, I deal with that and that, and I see like seven things on here that I occasionally deal with, um, then I really want you to look closer into saying, okay, may, uh, do you want to address it? First of all, if you'd like to address it and like to feel better and not have brain fog, not have bloating and not have depression and not have, um, you know, I don't know, oral health issues. I mean, there's so many things that were on there. Okay. So what GX Assist it has these powerful oils, oregano, melaleuca, lemon, lemongrass, peppermint, and thyme plus caprylic acid, which is coconut oil, okay? That's all inside that little enterically coated capsule that I told you about. And you take this as part of that middle part of the cleanse, the middle 10 days, and you take one a day is what's really encouraged. Um, in the very beginning when this was first introduced, we were taking up to three a day, and for some people's bodies, that was just too much. So we really encourage people to try one a day and see how you're doing with that. Next time around, if you were fine with one a day, then increase it. You could take one in the morning, one in the evening. Some people really like taking the GX Assist right before bed so that they're not dealing with any kind of discomfort and they just sleep through it as their body's kind of doing the work of fighting off that bad bacteria. And hopefully, because you spent the first 10 days doing the work of cleaning the chimneys, that when your body during the second 10 days is flushing the toxins out, it's going out the right way. It's going out through, I keep going up because I'm thinking the chimney, but really we want it going down, right? We want it come going through the system with the colon and the kidneys. If you start using this and start having skin outbreaks or any kind of discomfort or pain, back it off, stop doing it, cut it out completely, and then just go back to continuing what you were doing for the first 10 days and just carry that on for the first, for a whole 30 days. And then you might need to take a break for a month and try it again, okay? You really need to listen to your body, what's going on. And I love this. It says, make, de make your detox fun. Um, create an intention. What's your focus? What's your hope to get through this? Have a friend do this together with you or a group to hold each other accountable. Make sure you are hydrated. Let me take a drink. Um, pamper yourself in the process. Can I just underline that? It's one of the things that we just need to give ourselves permission that this is really part of health. Living a healthy life is giving yourself permission to have a day off and go get a pedicure or go get a massage. Do, do these things that um, aren't spoiling yourself so much as it's part of your healthcare routine, okay? Um, journal. Take, take note of what's going on, how you're feeling, what... What did you feel like um, in the last, at, at the end, compared to in the beginning? Do you, do you, are you noticing good things? Did your body go through some funky times in the middle of this that you feel like you need to address or take a closer look at, okay? Um, so 
phase two was reset, okay? So if you want, again, take a screenshot. So this is that middle, middle 10 days. You're still continuing with the terrazymes, zendocrine complex, and the lemon oil. And you see those are telling you to do those the whole 30 days. The GX assist, you do that for the middle 10 days, and then you stop it, okay? And then the phase three is renew. I love this beautiful picture, planting more grass, okay? This is the probiotic, PB assist. This is doTERRA's awesome probiotic. How are we doing on time? Okay, um, this is the 10 day reset. So the last 10 days of the 30 days, you're going to wanna to take, stop the GX assist, start now, recolonating your gut with all of this awesome, healthy bacteria. In these probiotics, there are 6 billion probiotic CFUs per capsule, okay? And this is a really awesome, there's a lot of probiotics on the market. And I, before I, before I even knew about doTERRA, I would go to the store and I was a little bit overwhelmed. Like there's some that are in the refrigerator, there's some not, what's the difference? What's a good quality one? And I heard all these things about yogurt that advertises probiotics, but actually by the time you eat it and it digests through your system, all the probiotics have died because they can't even survive through your, through your acidity of your stomach, right? So that's one of the things that makes these doTERRA probiotics really magnificent, okay? It's a prebiotic and a probiotic. So the probiotic is actually the little green capsule in the middle and the prebiotic is the, is the fibers and that liquid around it and that helps it to get through our stomach. And then that little green capsule that's enterically coated in there is delivered to our small intestines right where we need it to deliver all of those live bacteria in it. The prebiotic helps to keep those, those bacteria alive and thriving. And it's why it's shelf stable. And I love that. I love that we don't have to refrigerate it. And so when you're traveling, because isn't it true when you're traveling, I feel like we all deal with weird gut health stuff then. And so we want to have our probiotics. So make sure you take these with you and it's so easy to travel with, okay? And then the kids have a PB Assist Junior and it's not just for kids. We adults love it too. Who, who else? Um, be chiming in, by the way, for those of you that are, that are watching live, chime in on some of the things or good positive experiences that you've had with the PB Assist or PB Assist Junior, why you or your kids or your grandkids really like this. And by the way, the um, strains, the bacteria strains in the PB Assist Junior are different than the ones in the PB Assist capsule. And so I really encourage us to take both and kind of mix it up. Sometimes again, that variety, remember what I, I shared with you, that expert said one of the keys about the food that we're eating and the things that we're putting in our bodies that we wanna have good variety of healthy things, okay? And then the last point that's made here on this reset is, um, is the free radicals. We wanna address that there's free radicals in our body. Have you ever heard of those? That's unstable molecules with an unpaired electron that steal electrons away from stable, healthy molecules. And this process is called oxidation. And oxidation is, this is the vicious cycle of what creates inflammation which creates disease okay so what we want to do is try to figure out how we can stop these free radicals in their tracks and stop these you know uh, free radicals that are trying to steal um steal molecule electrons from the healthy molecules so antioxidants are the anecdote they are stable molecules that actually can donate an electron it neutralizes oh, antioxidants neutralize free radicals so how can, we, how can we do this? How can we neutralize these free radicals? Eat more fruits and vegetables, take your lifelong vitality pack and use DDR Prime Complex. This is the last product I wanted to introduce part of this. Um, the, this is an awesome oil and it's in, a, it's in a capsule or you can get it in the oil blend, okay? Just in the actual oil. And the, this includes frankincense, wild orange, lemongrass, Time, summer savory, clove, and naoli. And these are really awesome oils to help boost your um, antioxidant levels in your body and keep your, your body super, super duper strong. 
Okay, so how are you gonna remember this? How do you wanna utilize this? How do you wanna share this with a friend? If you want, you can screenshot this, but all the better. You can actually find this whole thing online, but the, what I've shared with you on here is in this book. And this book actually comes for all brand new people that start with doTERRA. They get this free, beautiful book that ha highlights all the different products in here. And then in the very back, it has instructions for people that want to do this 30-day cleanse. It says, this was created to help rid your body of toxic load and to support the overall function of your body's system and organs. And it's three 10-day phases. So that's exactly what we just walked you through. And I just love that it has a checklist in here. So if you want, if you want to do it that way, by all means. But like I said, you need to listen to your body. And for a lot of you, you might just need to pick and choose which things we highlighted in here. If you've never, ever tried doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality Pack, I would say if nothing else, start there. Maybe you're taking that regularly and you're kind of like, well, I don't know if I want to do a whole 30-day cleanse, but I would like to really address some of these things. Then I would say add on Terrazyme and the PB Assist and lemon <clears throat> those three things like just make that tack that on um, think of what spoke to you as we were going through this and like i mentioned earlier there's a cleanse and restore kit and you can actually get started with this if you're a new person watching this or if you're wanting to share with a friend this is a kit that people can actually get started with which is really awesome and it comes with all of these different things that we talked about, okay? It doesn't have Slim and Sassy in there, so if you really like the idea of also using that, then you can just tack that on. But currently, this is the only way to get that Zendocrine complex, and, um, and that is a really cool part of this process. But again, um, if you want to start doing this and you don't need to get this whole kit, you can just pick things a la carte uh, according to what you need, and you can use that other Zendocrine soft gel. It, it just for now you can totally use that so anyhow how, was this helpful did you guys learn some new stuff um i learn so much every time i teach this and dig into this topic and i just i hope people get encouraged that they can that a change can happen in their body so anyhow, if you're brand new and you've never ever gotten started with doTERRA, I really wanna encourage you to circle up with the person that invited you to watch that. And if that's me, you can text me after this is over and I'll, I'll help you or you can direct message me. But really we so encourage you to get your products the same way that we all do is the wholesale account um, so that you can get the wholesale price. We, we don't want you to have to pay retail pricing and it's really super simple. Um, most people get started with a kit that because it waives the $35 membership fee. So it's really kind of a no-brainer. These package pricing, um, it ends up being like a 35% off if you get started with one of the kits. Um, or if you're like, no, I really like picking things a la carte, that's totally fine too. You can build your own kit and pay the $35 and then just pick the things that you want. So circle up with your friend, see if there's any special promos happening right now. And then if you want to be in touch with me, I'd love to hear from you. And you can follow us. Our YouTube channel is The Salmon Spam. You can screenshot this if you want. You can find, follow me on Instagram and our, um, on Facebook with Healthy Essentials with Karina. And then of course our website is available for anybody. And we have lots of our classes that we post there and resources and that's teamhealthyessentials.com. Okay, and let me see if I can get here to stop the share. Let me see. Okay, here we go. All right, well, thank you all. We just are under an hour, which was my hope that we would, would be under an hour. And I appreciate you all for joining us. And again, I would love to hear from you. It's so, um, it's so helpful for the community to hear from one another. So please chime in and comment on some of the things that those of you out there that are watching that have had really positive testimonials and have some cool experiences that maybe you dealt with some negative things and tried some of these different systems and or just changed your diet and you're having really great experience, please 
share that with us. Um, I have a lot of friends that are on the kick of doing celery juice right now, for example, and it's, and it's delicious and amazing. And there's some cool research out there. And again, I would say if you're doing that, keep mixing it up, add in some of the different variety. Cause I really liked that philosophy and perspective that our guts are so diverse. Picture this beautiful rainforest that we want to stay, um, that we want to keep nourished, right? So thank you for joining me. Yes, this recording is going to be posted. Um, it's going to be on our Facebook group, and then you can always find it on our um, YouTube channel. We'll post it there as well. So over and out to everyone. We hope you have a blessed evening and a happy rest of this month.